Hello, welcome back. So here is a business requirement. Uh, as per this requirement, we are saying that the database users they can only log in to the database during the weekdays. And in case somebody uh, violate this rule, that means in case somebody trying to log in to the database during Saturday or Sunday, then we are going to uh, send a send an email to the DBA reporting the user ID and the time at which the user tried to connect to the database. Okay, so so this is the business requirement, and how do we uh, come up with a uh, solution to solve this problem? Okay, so again, uh, looks like it issues with trigger, and then we can use trigger to to solve this problem. So in fact, there is a trigger called system triggers, which which are going to help you in uh, in in this case. Okay, so let's go and see the code. So basically, this is a trigger I create called login underscore audit, and what I'm going to do is the event here, the triggering event here is after login to database. Okay, so you see, like you know, in in, in previous cases, we are seeing that uh, on the update of a table, okay, or we are seeing that on update of a view, but in this particular case, we are uh, that the triggering point is after we log on to the database. That means in your SQL plus whenever you use a user ID and password and then you 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 enter okay so that is the time you are connecting to the database okay and then what I'm saying here is that at this you know if I have a trigger like this login underscore audit which is going to fire after the login on database then what essentially is going to do we are going to execute this action and what this action so this action here it checks that if the date at which it is we are logging in is Saturday or the date is on Sunday okay so day is on Sunday right then what you are doing we are inserting into a audit table okay so you are inserting an audit table the time at which this violation happen and from the user ENB variable using this sys underscore context package we are going to find out what is the user ID and what is the IP address from where he logged in and what is the host name from where he the, the user logged in okay and then basically essentially we are putting these things to the table called audit table and we are creating a message uh, which is called v under v dollar message and we are constructing a message saying that user and then what is the user id logged into database at this time from this host and then using a send email procedure we are sending to the dba which is dba at abc.com and the message is this is the message that we send whatever we created on the fly and then the subject of this thing that user audit event triggered so in this case what we did we uh, we logged the uh, logged into the audit table but still the user is allowed to proceed that means the user can still access the database in case you do not want to proceed then what you would have done you could have called reg application underscore error okay so you could have you could have written something like this reg underscore application error and you give some error code let's say 2001 2001 and then you say that not allowed to log in so in that case if we if you're going to uh, if you're going to write this statement in here after this after this uh, if condi after this if condition then in that case we log the violation and we are not going to allow the user to continue to log on to the database okay so this is called like you know this is called a system trigger because the triggering point is a system event okay similarly here are different types of system event after which we can fire a trigger and then basically here in this example whatever i showed i showed you after login okay so you can also fire all these things after startup before shutdown and and these are the event on which you can also trigger your